Okay guys, I've got everything laid out, roughly how I'm going to put it together. So let's get started with something, something straightforward and fun. We're going to build our casters. So I put two of our bricks together, and I'll just put them on the back of our robot. Grab the other two bricks, put them together on the front of the robot. And you can see now that our robot can stand high. The next step is going to be to put the two seven Technic bricks on. And things will probably fall apart on you too, and that's okay. It's all part of getting used to building with Legos. See our smart brick came on, that's okay too. So, the next step is we are going to go ahead and push our axle through the centerpiece right there. It's going to come through on the other side. And we're going to put a bushing in there. And you'll see why in a few minutes because it will keep our wedge wheel from hitting on the smart hub. I'm going to slide the wedge wheel on. Just like that. And then I'm going to put the tire on. On the other side, I'm going to do a very similar process. I'm going to put on a full bushing. I'm going to put on the tire. And now we can see that's the beginning of our robot. It looks pretty good. I'm going to take our motor. I'm going to put on a red axle. And I'm going to put on a half bushing. We can put that pretty much wherever we want. And then we're going to put that in the middle of our robot so that the half bushing is pretty much aligned with the wedge wheel. And then this is a, an elastic, so there's a couple of different ways to do this. We can just wrap it around the tire if we wanted and put it around the half bush and then around the bottom wedge wheel. That might be tricky for some of the younger builders, so one of the things they might want to do is go ahead and take the wheel off and that'll make it easier to put the elastic on. And I can put the wheel right back on. And then I can plug the motor into the back of the robot. And we're all done. Rory the Rover.